What's up? Welcome to today's video. Um, it's a really interesting collective video and I'm really excited that you're here. I really enjoy your authentic energy and what you bring to the table. There's something about your authentic energy that when expressed creates these like waves through throughout time, throughout the past, the present and the future of you and your authentic energy and how um, throughout time your energy has been kind of implemented in that timeline, if you will. And imagine that every time that you express your authentic energy, you have a small dot on this line and the line is a timeline from past, present and future. And you're starting to understand what I see is your method of releasing others' matter so that you can get to a place where it is your matter again. Um, and it's like you're being able, you're able to express yourself even if you are in fear as well. Um, and it's through this belief and faith that expressing yourself is what you uh, like what you want to have happen and then the matter that comes along that's like uncomfortable that makes you feel not confident in expressing yourself that's the matter that doesn't matter in the end and you release it right and you're like oh nice um, and then you get to living your life expressing yourself um, and just kind of vibing out with who you authentically are, which makes it easier for you to live life as if it's your life, which it is absolutely your right to live your life the way that fits with you, you know. Um, and there is something about also remembering that everyone is as equal with you as you are with them and your problems are your own their problems are their own their matter is their own your matter is your own um anything that you can change within yourself is going to be something that you are responsible of that is your matter anything that anyone else uh can change but you can't change about that person or whatever um, it is their matter, and so that is something to release from you because the responsibility of that matter is only going to kind of be finessed in that, like, natural way with whoever originally started with the matter, whoever created the original matter or whatever, the original creator of the matter, said matter. There we go. So we have my greatest spiritual shifts don't come through force. They come through freedom. One thing about releasing is you finally have that change in structure, that change in hold, which allows you to see uh, this whole kind of what you're focusing on in a different perspective, in a different light, because when you release that, that allows that matter that's like being on hold or that matter that is like being tied down to you or it's like connected to you to like break free. Yeah. When I'm grateful for what I have, I can feel good along the way to what I desire. So there might also be when breaking free or releasing i'm getting releasing what no longer serves you releasing that that allows you to feel this area of like like matter of being okay you know it's not something where you have any kind of judgment towards but it's just You've come to terms that that is where you're at. And there's something about 
you realizing that there might be different areas right now that you didn't realize that you do need certain things. And then getting that when you kind of come to terms with where you're at now, with what you need now, you're able to fulfill those areas of what you need because you have the ability to, in room, to focus on that specific area. Because um, in getting that, what you're releasing to is like these beliefs that are blocking you from feeling worthy of focusing on your desires. My true safety lies in the capacity to align with the love of the universe. Okay, so definitely, definitely. Tuning into more than anything that self-love, okay? Um, the love that you want to receive from someone else, when you allow yourself to give yourself that type of love, that type of attention, that type of priority, you're going to allow yourself to uh, do just that. You're that that like other person that you want to fulfill is really going to be starting from within you, like those seeds of that person. And when you make those actions of taking care of yourself, making yourself a priority, um, you know, paying attention to yourself, taking yourself on dates, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Something about that is actually going to create the person who it is that those seeds of doing it for yourself uh, kind of blossom and bloom and um, patiently grow into um because there is like it's very interesting i'm getting a collective member my my fellow collective member that you're someone who is definitely some kind of alchemist you're definitely some kind of manifester where it's like your ideas and the kind of passion you have behind those ideas and your willingness to go beyond what your like 3D eye or your 3D eye can see and into your third eye, what your third eye can see. There's something about how that allows you to really just um, get the ball rolling in a way that would make mouths drop, you know, like you randomly win this contest. And for some reason, you're entirely confident that you're going to win the contest and you do, and people in your life now look and they're like, wow, they literally won that contest. And you're like, I already knew I was going to win it. Like, you kind of made it into, yeah, like you acted as if until it became reality. Where you're like, yeah, it's a no-brainer. You're like that confident. And honestly, if the creator can be that confident, yeah, the like <laughs> is going to turn into what the creator is going to be talking about. There is something I am getting, and then I'm going to read the cards I just pulled, but I am getting that there is this urgency, and I'm getting it's from being like a kid, and you have all this excitement, you know, you know, you want to get to the next stage and everything. This urgency I'm getting is something to look into in terms of if you're speeding through the process, like I'm getting on the road, if you've ever, you know, accidentally accelerated a little too much um, and it's like rainy and you know the ground's wet the the road's wet and so your tires are kind of you're you're really wanting to go but they're the traction isn't being met yet and so you're kind of um how would i put it your wheels are spinning but you're not going yet like you're not making a lot of movement or really like fast movement. Like, I don't know if you've ever played the Mario Kart game, um, but at the beginning you can kind of like 
start the accelerator and there's a point where you can like uh, start the accelerator at some certain point and you can go really fast but it's like you have to do it at a certain point and that's what I'm getting with uh, what I'm being told is there's a certain point like a certain sweet spot where it's like you wait you wait you wait then you start the accelerator then you start this like it's like your special move of just being able to get ahead of like everyone, but it's from this very practice method of who you know yourself as, who you know your authentic energy as. We have fun, beginnings, willingness, and opportunities. And then we have the gift, communication gift crystals. I love the drawings. They're really cool. Let me back the cards too. I don't know what they look like. <clears throat> Let that be confirmation, baby. Dang. Also my my mm, my third eye also is like it feels like it's uh, waking up. Wake me up inside. Okay. So let's get into it more. Um, yeah. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah. Because there is something about... Um, I want to look into the urgency. Because this urgency is like, uh, it's just a matter of reshaping your belief about, like, one, why you want to go, when you want to go. Like, why at this time do you want to go? Like, why at this time do you want to start the accelerator? Something about this feeling it's like this i'm getting because i'm getting in my sacral chakra sacral chakra solar plexus chakra um this like like before a race you know it's coming up it's like this feeling of something about you know something is coming up you feel it in your gut and you're like you know and it it happens in these odd times too where it's like, you're like, what a minute. Your spidey senses, you know, if you were Spider-Man and he had those tingly senses that like, you know, I don't know if it's from like the spider DNA, you know, and his mixing together, you know, he's like part, sp part sp spider, right? But maybe this is like you and your whole kind of spirit, like you're beyond your 3D self, right? sending you these little like kind of messages but there's something about right now trying to figure out how you as a human being can implement this method of handling this certain energy in a way where it's um it's effortless it's like you're floating down a lazy river and you're like vibing out with life because I'm getting that this energy is really helpful in terms of right now, what you feel like is out of, out of control. Um, right now, what is causing a lot of mayhem, a lot of mishaps, a lot of oops, I did it again moments in your life. The Ten of Cups. Something to do with emotional fulfillment, the desire of reaching some kind of emotional fulfillment. I'm getting it's like you're going to be like, okay, I'm going to then start, like that's when I'll feel myself, period. That's what I'm getting is like, you're like confident that this is how you feel. Like you're confident that this is just your energy. Interesting. Okay. So what I'm getting also is that 
it does have to it, it it does seem to be okay i don't know if it has to specifically but i'm getting that there's a large area of concern of other people's matter in your matter and you just having your matter in your body and finding some kind of way to release other matter entirely because i'm getting that you like you work really hard, you work really hard, and then you get to a point um, of releasing matter, right? And then you, you get to a point where, once again, you find yourself uh, having other people's matter within your own identity of self. And then you're like, oh my gosh, I lost myself again, or oh my gosh, I am once again um, having this other matter that's not my own within me and then I'm getting that there's this kind of frustration within yourself where it's like you're butting heads with that part of you there's a couple parts of you I guess that like butt heads and like something about being frustrated of of having to deal with this again and again and I get it right I get it because it's like repetitive and you're trying your hardest to change, you know, you're doing the best you can. Okay, let's first start there, okay? That's that's number one. You're doing the best you can. Um, you're looking also, what I'm getting with this more than anything, is you're looking for opportunities of growth. You're looking for opportunities of ways of finding how to get over, how to release, how to remove these blockages um, that prevent you from feeling entirely like yourself. You know, entirely like what is within you is just your energy and no one else's, no outside energy. So first and foremost, I'm getting that there's a lot of pressure that you're putting on yourself when it comes to always thinking that um, you have to keep trying to find and look outside the box of new ways um, to release outside matter. I'm getting that you found a lot of great methods that work for you. It's the form of practice creates master, right? Practice starts to, you start to shape into your master self. Um, there's a beautiful book called The Mastery of Self by Don Miguel Ruiz. And it is a very beautiful way of depicting how to look at matter as a way of, it's not yours, it's okay that it's not yours and it's also okay to release it and move on with your life and also something about um, what's coming through is understanding the very 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 importance of your matter your authenticity and how you view life <sighs> something about feeling okay with viewing life the way that you view it and saying that it's just as important as another person's way of viewing their own life um, and it's kind of like this taking a step back and realizing that maybe you have been judging other people me too right um, it's the human me in me it's the ego you know and it's natural for us to judge others what is also natural for us to do is to um, look at us as the way of the easy target when it comes to judging. Because there's also something about how when you judge another, you're also judging yourself in the very subtle ways, in the subconscious ways. And it's also uh, kind of giving room for this like 
unnecessary judger inside of us to feel like it's okay to do it. And there's something about needing to see that it's not for us to judge, right? It's for us to look within ourselves and to see, do we like this energy that we are projecting out? No? Okay. Let's remember that whatever we project out is also going to be reflected back. And so the areas where you're like not feeling or vibing and it's like from other people, remember that that is also from you. And so it's really beautiful to go through the releasing of beliefs, of perceiving life a certain way, um, and really allowing yourself to accept that you all made some judgment errors, okay? Let's learn in areas of those judgment errors how to release our judgment and how to say, let's just focus on us. Let's focus on me, right? Let's focus on you. Each individual focus on themselves and work on themselves and uh, release that focus on judging others' actions and give that responsibility to the divine, to God, to source, to uh, your support team on the other side, your ancestors, and say, hey, I really don't want to deal with this matter anymore. Please, I give to you. And they're like, yes, absolutely. We are so honored. And uh, yeah, that's that's kind of it. You know, it's that whole process of releasing and renewing and realizing that like living life is about living life for you and kind of figuring out how to really work this puzzle to the way that you want it to be um, because you are the creator because how it is that uh, how it is that also you kind of like put yourself out there and when I just said that it was two 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 on the recording clock how you put yourself out there is also what you will receive from out there to back so if you're more authentic to yourself, um, or if you're more authentic to your word, if you're more kind of authentic to how you express yourself, you will then in turn receive that authenticity. And know that it's not always going to be sunshine and rainbows. Know that people might not like you, okay? But remember that anyone who is projecting anything is like that's the reflection of their inside beliefs about themselves that is their uh reflection of the way they see themselves and kind of remember that you don't have to be anyone else you absolutely get the opportunity to be yourself to shine bright and to show the world what a true rare diamond you are where you were created I'm getting that you're also created from a really hard background, a really rough background that really jolted you into like, life is not all sunshine and rainbows. And that's, I'm getting also where this like judging is coming from too. And know that it's okay to judge. Judging is like a way to protect yourself, but know in terms of judging, are you judging like you? Are you judging someone else? Why are you judging them? Why are you judging someone else? You know, there's a lot of different um, questions to go through because I'm getting that there is like a lot of power within the way that you judge. Yeah. We have the Empress and Ace of Pentacles. So there is uh, the way that you rule judgment. Hmm. That's interesting. 
Because really, though, I think judgment really, what I'm getting, why it's coming up so much is because it's like tuning into how you see life. The Page of Cups. Tuning into how you see life and how it also is connected to your emotions is and is connected to this feeling of feeling fulfilled in your emotions. The Wheel of Fortune. Because it's also like, I'm getting that you really want to make sure that people in your life are good because your past was so rough and because people in your past put fear in you from the choices that they made um, the actions that they chose to make that really jolted you and that's like the jolt was very scary and it really put you in this very defensive mode of looking at other people and know that right now I'm getting you're in a place where you know more about yourself in terms of boundaries in terms of boundaries with uh, that influencing matter of outside where it's like, it feels uncomfortable. It's like that fear. I'm getting fear mongering like other people are not very careful about what they say to you. And they put a lot of this like opinionated fear into like, they say it to you and it's interesting because I'm also getting that the way that you register, if you will, uh, what people say is a bit different than how the person saying it is trying to intend. And so you're like taking a lot of this to heart, but I'm getting that it's like you need to take it at face value until you see that someone can hold their weight in their words. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful Queen of Pentacles, okay? Cause like, ooh, yo, you are absolutely the Queen of Pentacles. You are absolutely someone who loves to admire the beauty, especially in others, loves to see the, you know, really, amazing uniqueness within all of us it has though that part of you has been hurt a lot from the actions of others and it's kind of like you've had a lot of time to understand how the actions of others and um kind of what is created within you from that or from them is like you you found some kind of way to alchemize that pain or those wounds into um strengthening those areas even more than before you were like before you met them before that the the action started before that wounding was created so like it's kind of like, yes, it was painful. You survived, though. Like, you survived going through that. Um, and there is something about needing to come back to life. And, like, I'm getting in, um, oh, what is that movie? Oh, I don't know the movie. I think it's Baby, Baby, some kind of baby movie. But it's this young woman who is in this like hospital or like this like mental ward or mental like an insane asylum and um baby girl or something like that but basically she in the end i forget really what happens but there's the part that's coming out is how she woke herself up you know she like her authentic consciousness, like your authentic consciousness 
is waking yourself up and is like allowing you to see yourself through the areas where you are strengthening and healing um, the wounds, the places where others have wounded you by their actions, specifically with ignorance of their own actions and about also how they don't deal with their own fear and they give it to you like fear mongers yeah when i introduce joy to a situation i change the vibrational frequency of what's happening around me okay so as you go about right now you're going to come across people who are just in their in the oddest of ways just get in your kind of path get into like you're doing your thing and they randomly just like get in your way you know and it's like these little instances where you feel very irritated and you like kind of like you're trying to get a fire started and the get a fire started and how you have to like uh get the match uh match stroke stru struck i guess and how it like fire comes from the match it's kind of like that where these people just want to irk you into lashing out but there's something about releasing the urge to lash out to the divine to whoever you want to right on the other side and if you can allow yourself to remember joy that you felt in the past or allow yourself to remember what joy is and just try to focus on joy in your life because I'm getting that when you're able to do that releasing of irritation and renewing with joy it allows you to stay in the present moment and not go to the past and get stuck in the past and get, again, attached to past events. Okay? Okay. So we have, when I cultivate a spiritual connection, I can trust the universe no matter what. So releasing... The irritation right releasing that energy that you do not want and re releasing it to whatever on the other side of that spiritual connection okay and i am getting also if you can have the intention of the universal love um which means it's like unconditional meaning that you're like, I'm not judging. I just want to not have this energy in me anymore. And it's like, you're able to focus on yourself uh, and kind of see the bigger picture as like, the only purpose for you is just to release it and wherever it goes and whatever happens next is not for you to know or for you to even be focusing on. You need to be focusing on this just continuing to get that energy out and just continuing to just, you know, it's like that practice, uh, practice of air, if you will, where you can kind of figure out where you're making certain errors in your own behavior. And you're like, oh, okay. Um, cause once you're able to figure out what you're doing wrong and you correct your behavior and you like practice, um, the rest of it will absolutely uh, iron out. I was going to say wrinkle out. Iron out the wrinkles in your timeline, if you will. And so, like, the manifestations that you really want to have happen, have happen. Like, period. Because it's waiting for you to do the work of uh, ironing out the wrinkles that you're making in your own timeline and it's okay all right it's it's so yo if you're making mistakes you're doing it right period okay it's all a learning lesson for you to gain the experience of your own life right and everyone's living their own life 
and like zero people are going to have the same experience period everyone has a different experience because that's like the whole point of us being different in the first place we're supposed to have our own different opinions experiences but i'm getting that respecting respecting it is like something that needs to also i'm getting be looked at as well uh, the universe is always conspiring to support me, guide me, and lead me compassionately toward the highest good. Okay. There's going to be times where you will doubt yourself, where you're like, um, I don't know about this. Because you're like waiting and you're like seeing no results happening. I get it. I get it. Like, yo, it's about putting your nose to your work focusing on your form, right? Um, with anything, right? Because I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting like sports, okay? Anyone, well, I don't know anyone, but like everyone starts out like sucking, being really bad, like making a lot of mistakes uh, at whatever they are just starting out doing. And that's kind of what's happening here is really getting to know your own form as your own master, you know, your own type of player in the game, right? Um, you're gonna, like for instance, with baseball, how they like hit the ball, right? And they swing, every single player swings differently. Um, some swing on the right side, some swing on the left side. Uh, every single player is going to hit the ball differently. Some hit home runs, others hit fouls. It's about being able to bring your focus back to you and releasing focus on outside matter because outside is not important, especially if inside is all like confusing and it's like, I have no clue. I have no clue, you know? The rest will figure out, okay? But you need to figure out what is within you that you have no clue about. And there's something about when you feel okay to look within you and something about, yeah, this practice of non-judging or seeing yourself in an unconditional way is just going to allow yourself to feel okay just like wanting more, feeling worthy of wanting more, feeling worthy of more. Because um, I'm kind of getting that you as a player, you're a big player, but you keep yourself small. Um, and there's a lot of amazing things that happen when someone is willing to go big, you know, because it's kind of like no matter what, they are home, right? Go big or go home. No, it's like go big and I will go home. Like I, I will do both no matter what because you found home within you. You found how to express yourself in a comfortable way. Yeah, okay. I accept the good things come easily. I'm a super attractor. Okay, say this five times fast. I triple dog dare you. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> like, yo, you are so incredible. Yo, you are so incredible. Yeah, I hope, I really hope one day that you're able to feel that, feel okay also feeling that okay yeah okay so i think i'm gonna end the video i really appreciate you sticking around and uh yeah just checking out the video uh you know your energy honestly is so awesome i have to say okay uh especially like you just watching the video, you're doing such a huge, huge, like, support for me. You're such a huge support me for me. 
you're you're adding a lot of amazing amazing energy into this video that I just really want to say your authenticity is like it's so needed it's so comforting like I feel so relieved to like have you here um you know and like you know you're just watching the video imagine you like because I'm getting that you're really someone who like builds communities and it's like yeah oh man just try to try to work on the releasing other outside matter and renewing with like where you're at now and kind of where you want to go um and that will really really sort out a lot of confusion with like you being like i have no clue you're like i don't know i don't know and it'll work like i mean you know it'll work <laughs> it worked for me okay you guys like y'all i'm telling you i'm 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 definitely doing the releasing and renewing and um it's helping me feel really good about myself in the kind of authentic way um uh, yeah so especially if you're like an empath and you're like not used to voicing your opinion or thinking that your opinion is of even sound matter you know i've i've worked through that and i'm like wow this is actually really cool to like live life and feel okay expressing your authenticity and like feeling proud about what you think in terms of how you see life it's amazing um so anyway i'm gonna leave this anyway i really thank you for your time and your energy your authenticity you matter so much in this world and you matter so much to me and i am really grateful uh, know that if right now it's very difficult for you in the future, it will be less difficult, okay? But focus on releasing the difficulty to God, to the divine, to your support team on the other side, I like to say. Um, and have faith that in time, it will be way more easier of you being yourself. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in another video. Bye, everyone.